splattered with paint. Several random cars targeted. My roommate woke me up and said that my car was tagged. And my first thought is like, somebody spray painted it, maybe there's gang signs on it. But it's nothing like that. To make it worse, the vandal is on the loose and police have no idea who it is. It's a crime spree that's left thousands of dollars in damage and a big headache for the owners of those cars. Just senseless. And tenders reporter Bree Steffen gives us a closer look at the damage. This paint on the pavement is where it all started. Unfortunately, it only gets worse from here. But I'm pretty sure this was the first one that got splashed. A splash with a ripple effect. Really hit mine. Apparently really hit the Scion. That dude did a great job of cleaning it off, so. The paint job no one wanted. Seemed to finish off the bucket of paint right on this car over here. Least of all, Taylor Norix. Well, he definitely was aiming for my window. Uh, it was mostly splattered all across here and then just kind of dripped down over my license plate and bumper. This is what his car looked like Sunday morning. By splashing, you can just tell the guy's just throwing it. Norick says someone stole a can of paint from this work truck parked at Canyon Club Apartments and went on a rampage. Hits this car, hits that car. Seven cars all together. Norix was one of the lucky ones who found his car before the paint dried. Oh, I just knew I had to spend my entire afternoon cleaning it off, you know? I had stuff to do that day, but uh, you just kind of stole that. Even though the vandal left a clear trail... You can kind of see where the guy just had his paint and just kind of took off. He still hasn't been caught. Pretty cheeky guy to want to do that. The owner of this car says it's going to cost him $2,500 to get this professionally cleaned. Police say if you have any information on who did this, give them a call. In Oceanside, Bree Steffen, 10 News. And vandalism is high in our county. Take a look at this crime mapping website. This is just the last six days, too. There have been more than 110 reports of vandalism from Oceanside all the way down to the border. As you can see, dozens of those, they're in the South Bay, a lot of them. If you would like to check out what kind of crimes are happening in your neighborhood, we've posted a link on 10news.com. Just look for the red television button on the homepage.